uh, Grace Randolph beyond the trailer. It's the two heavy lifters. <laughs> you guys are amazing in this movie. You have Yay. such an incredible fight scene. You've got swords and dancing in this amazing room with this, um, this music that's just thundering. How long did it take to film that scene? Well, it took weeks. Yeah. Uh, if you remember, weeks. Yeah. It took weeks. It took about three weeks, start to finish, yeah. to shoot it. And it took two or three months to um, prepare for it, you know, physically to get fit enough to right. uh, just to be able to last the day's work, you know, yeah. and and also to choreograph. I mean, Jaiman had several other um, brilliant fight scenes. Uh, I just had that one, you know, and it nearly <laughs> That was me. enough, Reese. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, and that definitely that was enough. I mean, that in itself, uh, that one fight sequence, it was just uh, overwhelming. Yeah. And it, yeah, it, well. it was painful, you know. Um, it was painful, but you know the end result is 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 kind of mad and deeply satisfying mm -hmm. to watch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jaman, when you come uh, up the lift at the end, towards the end of the film, that's also an incredible shot. Yeah, that's well. amazing, right? right, right yeah, right, right, yeah. Right. That whole yeah. sequence at the end, let's not forget, is just something else, you know. Right? I mean? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Jaman, how was it to see Reese made up as Rasputin walking around? Uh, well, it was uh, it was quite entertaining. It was quite entertaining. <laughs> for I mean, all of us was a little bit floored as to how he was bringing this, you know, this whole movement together. Uh, and it was so gracious, but at the same time, so, um, you know, uh, um, wicked, you know, I mean, yeah, it was beautiful to see you. Every time you came, you came on set, it was just like, we were all so excited to see how you were going to put, you know, yeah, how is you going to move this time? And yeah, uh, yeah it was great. Uh, yeah. It was fun to. It was fun because we'd we we'd all been kind of preparing for the fight in isolation. You know, we'd been working with stunt doubles, and so we all we all knew our moves, but we'd never got to do them with each other. You know, so it was like kind of like a a successful arranged marriage. You know, <laughs> when we all showed up and went. And then to see uh, uh, Rasputin in action, and then then you see Reese now bringing Rasputin into. Uh, existence with uh, you know uh, the little little nuances uh, you know of uh, you know him as a character we just uh, it was beautiful to watch uh, we felt like uh, no we truly were you know Matthew Vaughn had found a, a really a nice key note in making Rice Putin really a, a you know an interesting dangerous character but you love to watch him you love to see him being bad yeah, if you can throw up and be so cool while you do it, that's amazing. Right. That's a skill. That's a uh, skill. Reese, how is it going from something that was so, you had so much hair and makeup to being very much looking like yourself for House of the Dragon? Oh, um, yeah. I mean, Rasputin, you know, is a specific look. You know, most, most guys in the world at that time had pretty much the same haircut. You know what I mean? It was, <laughs> which is astounding, right? But most of the world had the same haircut. Um, but Rasputin kind of stands out. You know, he he looks like he's um, um, like he runs some kind of really, really kind of low grade wellness clinic. <laughs> you know, um, not somewhere you'd want to go. Um, yeah, so 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 his look is so specific, you know. I mean, if you put that wig and that beard on my mother and said to someone, "Who's that?" they would say Rasputin. You know, that's um, hilarious. It, it's such an identifiable silhouette. Um, so really, it kind of that that was inspiring. Once the wig and the beard was on, you know, it's kind of like a mask in a sense. So you know, there is a little bit of a um, kind of a little magical. Um, it, it kind of gives you, when you're so anonymous in something, it gives you permission to unleash your beast, um, if you like. Um, yeah. Well, also, uh, uh, Jaman, you might not have a lot of co uh, comedic lines here, but in Marvel's What If, you are so funny. How is it to do a comedic <laughs> role like that? 
Well, I mean, it's uh, you, you have to be as equally as committed, you know, as in a, you know, a dramatic uh, sort of like a, a scene. I mean, you have to be very, uh, yeah. You did, you have to commit to it. did you record with Chadwick at all? No, I did not record with Chadwick. We recorded separately, um, different times. I recorded mostly uh, by myself. Um, yeah. It was a very special episode. You were fantastic. Oh, thank, you. thank you. It was and, fun. And uh, Reese, speaking of Marvel, I know you can't say anything, spoilers, all that stuff. So I'm going to instead ask you, how does it feel to be one of the Spider-Man franchise's iconic villains overall? Well, a real honor, you know. Um, yeah, a real honor, you know. And, and the, the movies since the one I made, I've, I've really enjoyed, you know. And Tom Holland's an excellent Spider-Man. And I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to seeing this new one. Um, it's very exciting. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and so back to the Kingsman, without spoilers, uh, let's take the big fight scene off the board, because we all know that that's like a killer sequence. So what's your favorite scene in the film besides that? Well, I have a se there's a sequence, there's a sequence in it, but actually, but that would be a spoiler, but it's, um, all I can say is it, it's a sequence, it's quite a long sequence that leaves a room and goes elsewhere, and at the end of the sequence, it returns to the room. Um, let's say Rafe's character is a very different man at the beginning. Oh, yes. The sequence. And you know what you're end. talking I think, about. I think it's beautiful. I think it's such, such, uh, such powerful storytelling. Um, and there's an, there's, a, there's, a, there's an image of Jaiman in that scene that broke my heart. Mm -hmm. um, if, uh, that's all I can say. But that was shocking. All I can say to, 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 to audiences is that, yes, this is a Kingsman prequel. And yes, all the Kingsman favorites are there, crazy characters, exquisite action sequences, lots of funny violence. And, but there's also a lot of poetry and pathos in this film. And I was referring to one of those moments uh, just now, uh, but I realized <laughs> midway through, I would ruin the movie if I, to if I told you any more. But I think you know the one I mean. Oh, I yeah. know, it's, it's, it's incredible. What do you think? Well, also, Bone, before I go, I'm very excited right. with the way the, the, the movie leaves your character. And I, again, we can't give any spoilers, but I was so pleased at the surprise reveal for you right. at the end. Yes, yes. Um, well, what is to say? I mean, uh, <laughs> we, uh, we went into it and um, had a great story, a uh, story that is very difficult to tell, given the fact that you're using history as a backdrop uh, and trying to keep a certain um, uh, reality to that and then bringing the fiction into it and all that was quite, uh, uh, quite wow, what a challenge. I think that, that uh, Matthew did an amazing job but by uh, incorporating the two and then I think uh, we'll have a successful film, hopefully. I loved it. Congrats to you both. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.